Well, hello again, everybody. It's Mr. Wassman, and today we are going to be solving multi-step multiplication number stories. And isn't that what math is all about? Solving problems, okay? We apply math in our everyday lives. Uh, sometimes we just don't take the time to notice how much math is a factor in our day-to-day -day existence. We are in our math journals on pages 137 and 138, uh, Unit 4, Lesson 12. Let's take a look at the first problem. It says, write estimates and number models for each problem, then solve. So let's take number one. And of course, when we approach a number problem or a number story or a story problem or whatever the vernacular, we're going to use the strategy of ruckus. And a ruckus, of course, is an acronym that stands for, say it along with me, read and then reread the problem, underline the question, circle important information, come up with an action plan, and then solve. So let's do that. Danielle and Hector are selling raffle tickets to raise money for the school band. Danielle sells five tickets per day for four weeks straight. She then sells four tickets per day for one week. How many tickets does Hector need to sell if he wants to sell more tickets than Danielle? So we've got a little... Uh, uh, competition going on to sell tickets here. All right, so let's reread this, and as I read it, let's underline the question and circle the important information. So Danielle and Hector are selling raffle tickets to raise money for the school band. Danielle sells five tickets per day for four weeks straight. She then sells four tickets per day for a week. So how many tickets does Hector need to sell if he wants to sell more tickets than Danielle? Okay, so let's take a look at this. Okay, so five tickets per day, four weeks straight. So first, let's create our number model, and then we'll go back and create an estimate to help us uh, hone in on the actual answer. So five tickets per day times... Four weeks. Okay, so four weeks is seven days a week times four, which we know to be 28. Okay, and then double parentheses here. I'm going to add that to the last week where she sold four tickets a day for one week, four times seven. And that's going to give me my total. So five tickets per day for four weeks straight plus four tickets a day for another week. Okay. Uh, so five times 28 plus 28. So if I were to create an estimate for this problem, I would take five and I would round 28 to the nearest 10, which would be 30. So five times 30 I'm going to add that to another 30, which is, again, 28 rounded up to the nearest 10. So 5 times 30 plus 30. So what is 5 times 30? Well, if I know that 5 times 3 is 15, if I take 5 times 3 tens, multiply it together, I'm going to get 15 tens, otherwise known as 150. And then I'm going to add that to my 30. And you could probably do that mental math. So 150 plus 30 is going to give me 180. Now, if you really wanted to line that up, 150, 30, line up those place values, that's going to give me 180. So my answer is going to be about 180 tickets. So the question which I didn't underline, so I'm going to go back and underline. How many tickets does Hector need to sell if he wants to sell more tickets than Danielle? Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to figure out what is 5 times 28 plus 28 more. Okay. So 5 times 28 requires us to use a multi-digit multiplication strategy, whether that be partitioning rectangles or partial products. And I'm going to choose partitioning rectangles today. So 5 times 28 is taking 20 
8 and breaking it down to 2 tens, 20, and 8 ones. And we'll multiply that by 5. 5 times 2 is 10. So 5 times 2 tens is going to give me 10 tens, otherwise known as 100. Then 5 times 8 is, of course, 40. That's, of course, 140. And then I take that total and I add it to 28 more. That's the last week of four tickets a day for a whole week. So 140 plus 28 is going to give me 168. That's right. And that's how I would solve that problem. Okay. Well, at least figuring out how much Danielle sold. So if Hector wants to sell more, he has to sell more than 168. So if he hit 169 tickets, then he would be the winner of this contest. But in reality, it's the school. The school band is the winner for those two students being so uh, so uh, uh, adventurous and aggressive in their ticket selling. Okay. So now, does that answer make sense? Explain. Now this is the portion of story problems that oftentimes catches kids up. What do you mean, explain? Well, Mr. Wasman just told me uh, how the answer works, so isn't that good enough? Yes, because Mr. W says so. No, that's not good enough. You need to actually be able to explain the logic behind the answer. So what is the logic behind the answer? Well. If you take a look at your estimate, 180, that's pretty close to my actual answer, 168. So does your answer make sense? What they're asking you is, are you close to your estimate or does your actual answer uh, seem logical to you? Well, yes, it does. So we, we would use, uh, ex we would explain ourselves by saying, yes, because my estimate of 180 is close to my answer. And of course, you could reverse those two parts of that sentence. Yes, because my answer is close to my estimate of 180. Okay. So that's what they mean when they say explain. Can you justify why you came up with your answer or how you came up with your answer? Okay. It's not that they're trying to trick you or to uh, uh, have you jump through hoops. It's just that as mathematicians, you need to be grounded in your answers and you need to make sure that you can kind of uh, prove it. That's what a lot of what math is about. It's coming up with proof that your answer is correct. Okay. So that's how you would approach each of these problems. There's three more problems that each involve some sort of multiplication and maybe some other calculations, okay? Like, for example, number two, Aaliyah buys four cartons of eggs each month. Each carton contains one dozen eggs. How many eggs does Aaliyah buy in two years? So you would take the number of eggs that she buys in a month, and then you would multiply that by the number of months that are in two years. So there's a couple steps. That's where the phrase multi-step comes from. Okay, that means there's more than one thing to do in these problems. Problem number three, Antoine played goalie on both the soccer and hockey teams at school. When he played soccer, he saved three goals per day for six weeks. When he played hockey, he saved two goals per day for three weeks. How many goals did he save in all? So... You'd have to figure out the total goals in hockey and the total goals in soccer and then add them up. Number four, Pablo buys 18 new songs each month. Each song costs $2. How much money does Pablo spend on songs in three years? So it's 18 songs times $2 times the number of months there are in three years. So, you know, multiple steps. And that, my friends, is how you would approach each of these individual problems. You would read it, think about it, and then come up with an action plan, come up with an approach for it. You find the important information, 
uh, you think about what is being asked of me, okay, and then you uh, go through the steps to solve it, okay? Um, if you have questions about how to approach multiple step multiplication problems, uh, talk to your math teacher. They will be happy to help you if you ask. And the first step in finding the answers is to, one, identify that you have questions, and two, take the initiative to ask the question of someone who can help you. And of course, your math teacher is there to help. Until we uh, talk again, friends, good luck with this assignment, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Thanks.